Good morning. The blazes are really high today. Almost couldn't reach that one. MCM just dropped us off. We had a really nice breakfast at her house again. And I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera right now because I'm trying not to trip. Oh, there was a tiny snake, MC. Oh, little homie. Now I'm a 13 and 16. That's a worm. No, it's a worm? That's oh, okay. Worm. Well, that's good. 12 and 15 it is. I'm happy with that. <laughs> we're, it's 6, we're just after 6.30. So we're starting early this morning because we were hitting the roller coaster. And we don't really want to do it when it's almost 90 degrees out. So, wish us luck today. riding the roller coaster right now and it's really bumpy because there's Virginia rocks everywhere it's like was it 12 I think puds pointless ups and downs insta session the topo map looks like this it's like somebody bounced on a pogo stick with a pencil in the end and drew the map so we're gonna be doing this for a while We're trying to figure out which tree we just heard fall over. Because something definitely just fell over there. We can't figure it out. Yep, yep. I was Look, it's a thousand. Way. We're in four digits <laughs> now. It's pretty great. This is a lot of miles. <laughs> I think the picnic table at Sam Moore has been claimed already. Just when you thought the roller coaster couldn't get better, it gets rockier. And we made it up to Bearson Rocks. Well, we just ran into uh, Trail Boss, who is the trail boss for the uh, Potomac ATC Club, which apparently maintains the Shenny's all the way up through Pennsylvania, which is awesome. And uh, they've been doing a lot of work here because it looks like they cut, went through, cut back the trail today. They're fixing up the trails. So thank you so much to you guys and all the trail crews that get out to um, do that kind of work to make sure that we have a good hiking experience. And uh, theoretically, no one dies. <laughs> You guys are greatly appreciated. Also, we just went through Bear's Den, which was really pretty, and there were a lot of tourists, and they smelled amazing. Well, we'd be happy to know no one died trying to cross the six-lane highway we just ran across. That thing's busy. You guys still intact? For now. Oh, this is good. All right, snapshot, worst and best. No worst, best. Virginia was awesome. Uh, Shenandoah's, Damascus was awesome. Virginia was just great. Beautiful. MC? Is it my turn now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Virginia. It's a really long state. Uh, over half of our hike has been in Virginia so far. Um, best, I would say, just being back in the home state and getting to go through Shenandoah National Park and meeting up with the family again. Absolutely awesome. If I had to, if I absolutely had to pick a worst, I would say probably that day when we climbed three ridges because it was so hot and it was really, really sunny and it was hot and very tall. But yeah, Virginia! <laughs> okay, worst part of Virginia. Had a lot of stuff going on in Southern Virginia, um, which is better now. And best part of Virginia was hanging out with these guys. We got to meet MCM's family and Snapshot's family. And Virginia was just an all around beautiful state. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. Also, Mackey's Knob was as incredible as we'd hoped. Yay! Don't know why we're walking on a beach right now. This is kind of weird. It's official. That means we're done with the roller coaster. And we still have more miles to go. I love how there's two of them and the trail goes around. 
We don't have a volleyball, but in honor of it. Wilson! That was for you guys. We made it to the Blackburn Trail Center. And it's super nice. <laughs> and MCM came to bring us back to the house again. Yay! Wow, what a day. <laughs> so we did a 12 hour hiking day, uh, 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. And we hiked pretty much the entire time. We did our tramway longest day yet, it was 21.7. So we're counting as a 22 because <laughs> we did a lot of side trailing. So 21.7 on trail miles and then uh, probably like 24 if I had to guess off trail miles. Um, it was, 86 degrees with humidity today and we did the entirety of the roller coaster uh, which is about a 14 mile super pudsy stretch um, and the trail maintainers literally named it the roller coaster um, what I was told was based off of uh, shelter log entries from after people went through it and they were like wow that was a roller coaster um, so that's how it got its name, and it was really tough because it was rocky, um, it was very sharp inclines, very sharp declines, um, my knees were, <laughs> they did well, but they were very unhappy with the whole situation. Um, thankfully, uh, courtesy of MCM, um, my Aunt Crusher's mom, we were able to slack pack it, which was a huge blessing because honestly I don't think we would have been able to do a 22 not slack packing um, because I don't I really don't think my knees could have handled that um, and we passed two major milestones today we passed the thousand mile marker and uh, we passed the Virginia West Virginia border so we're now in our fifth state um, and we finished the longest state on the AT so it's, it's honestly super exciting and it feels completely surreal that we did that. Um, so yeah, we're, we're pretty psyched. Um, uh, my sneak count for today, like for the trip is up to, what did I say? I think 14 snakes I have literally gotten within inches of stepping on, um, and 17 total snakes seen. Uh, when we were eating lunch at the Sam Moore shelter, there was a snake just like chilling on the picnic table and then he decided the picnic table wasn't for him and he skedaddled and went and climbed a tree for a while and we just watched him the whole time we were eating lunch. It was very entertaining. Um, but yeah, we leapfrogged a lot with uh, Green Machine and Phoenix and Hummingbird today. Um, we ended up at the end of the day, we went down to the Blackburn um, AT Center, which is one of the few um, like actual like shelters in the south that has a caretaker in residence and uh we met two shoes and miles there and uh it was two shoes's birthday um this is not the same two shoes that we met like we've been um hiking with before um this is a different one and uh since it was his birthday the caretaker made him brownies so we got leftover brownies which was pretty great um but it was a beautiful center and uh if mcm and grizzly hadn't come and picked us up we probably would have stayed there for the night but um MCM Grizzly came, picked us up. We went to Verity's um, for dinner, which was delicious. The view was amazing. And of course the company was incredible. So now we're back at uh, MC's place for one more night. Um, and we are exhausted. We, we had a big day today. Um, so I'm getting ready to eat my reserve ice cream bar. Um, roll out my feet, ice my knees catch up on my journaling and as crazy as it sounds tomorrow we will be in Harper's Ferry the emotional halfway point of the AT and uh, we get a double zero to hang out with our families Snapshot's family is coming to see him for the only time on trail so that's super exciting um, but yeah I'm, I'm really proud of what we did today and it blows my mind that we walked a thousand miles <laughs> and uh, it's it's been an incredible experience so super excited to get into Harper's Ferry tomorrow. Uh, I can't wait. One of my dreams starting the AT was 
um, getting Harper's Ferry, getting my yearbook photo taken. Um, the ATC, like the Appalachian Trail Conservancy headquarters, is in Harper's Ferry with their famous whitewashed walls and AT sign on the front. And um, they take actual Polaroid pictures um, where you put your name, your trail name, um, what number person you are coming into Harper's Ferry, which is super cool. Um, and then like they put it in the hiker yearbook for every year and I'm so excited for that tomorrow. So I'm gonna get some rest and I'll see you guys when I'm back on trail tomorrow. Good night.